I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 10th day of June. Got some light rain falling over parts of North Alabama this morning as a moist air mass stays in place. Let's take a look out the window with some of the sky cam shots. First off, coming from Huntsville, where light rain is falling. That's uh, Memorial Parkway, and I see one car out there at 5 o'clock. But we all know that will pick up soon. Head down south, that's the uh, Birmingham Sky Cam looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. The sky cloudy there. And way down south, that's the uh, Gulf Shore Sky Cam. And again, where everybody down there is just watching the oil situation. And uh, it's just a tough time for those folks. As many people have canceled their vacations and uh, believe the signs have gone up encouraging people not to get in the water at this point. But at least the weather looks pretty quiet for the next several days down there across extreme south Alabama. There's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. That persistent upper low continues over northeastern Texas. And the uh, core of the westerlies are up north, and ridging will begin to build here over the weekend. That uh, should mean hotter afternoons and fewer showers by Saturday and Sunday. But this morning, kind of soupy out there. That's the radar at 5 o'clock, and look at that light rain falling. Uh, places like Russellville, Moulton, Decatur, Guntersville getting wet and uh, will maintain a pretty decent chance of scattered showers and storms throughout the day today. On the uh, watch warning map, we've got flash flood watches over northeast Texas, number of counties under flash flood warnings out there. And again, thanks to the uh, upper low for that. And up north, a, here's the MCS the morning, mesoscale convective system, severe thunderstorm watch for much of Nebraska until 11 o'clock Central Time. Here's the uh, convective outlook for today. Low end, 5% probabilities of severe weather here. And uh, the reason for that is the colder air aloft with the upper low drifting in from Texas, but the really coldest air up top will stay west of the state with that feature. Tomorrow, uh, again, the northern third of the state in that 5% range the uh, slight risk is up where you see that 30% uh, circle, really the 15% circle, all the way from Denver back up toward uh, uh, Milwaukee. But we do think showers should begin to thin out tomorrow. If they do form in spots in the afternoon, they could pack a punch. And then day three, Saturday, got a slight risk from Amarillo and Lubbock, Texas, up to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And there's the QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days. Heaviest rain, how about... Uh, Oh, around Tyler in Canton, Texas, 4.5 inches there uh, east of uh, Dallas. With the upper low in Alabama, the amounts taper off from about three-quarters of an inch up over the uh, Tennessee Valley down to nothing at Gulf Shores in Orange Beach. This is the, uh, Q the, the, not the QPF, the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is a global model. The OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock today. Valid at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. There's the upper load that's around the Arc Latex region. Core of the uh, jet stream remains north of us, and down below that, we've still got a, a moist air mass. So again, a few showers and storms likely today, primarily over the northern third of the state. Uh, once you go below Montgomery, odds are they'll be dry down there. Uh, tomorrow, we note the 594 ring shows up. Over the northeastern Gulf, that's that developing upper high as a big trough forms over the western states. And uh, that means showers and storms should be fewer in number tomorrow. If they do pop up late in the day, they could be pretty strong, especially over the uh, northern part of the state. But I think a pretty good chunk of Alabama will be dry. And Saturday, the ridge takes over. And uh, it covers all of the deep south while the trough digs out west. And uh, Saturday looks relatively dry and hot. Low and mid-90s. And again, the model numbers are going to be a little too hot, we believe. Uh, they're printing numbers like 95 and 96. We think the high should be closer to 93 or 94. But it's one way or the other. It'll be the uh, hottest weekend so far this year. And yeah, there could be a storm out there, but they could should be few and far between. And the same thing on Sunday. Uh, low to mid-90s, hot with only isolated storms in the afternoon. Monday of next week, the ridge begins to break down, so chance of scattered showers and storms will go up a little bit. In Tuesday, a short wave passes well to the north, but it beats the ridge down somewhat, and that means scattered showers and storms and a warm, humid air mass. And 
Uh, Wednesday, same thing. We stay awfully soupy. You know, we showed you a couple of runs that tried to bring dry air down in North Alabama, and, you know, we said, I'll believe that when you see it. Well, now I think that's more realistic. We stay in the uh, uh, moist air. And Thursday, same thing, very moist air. So uh, next week we'll just kind of broad brush it with a standard uh, partly sunny, scattered showers and storms, mainly in the afternoon-type forecast with highs around 90. Check the end of the forecast on June the 25th. Winds aloft, light and variable. And that looks very standard for summer. And yeah, we see that uh, enhanced convection there in the northern Gulf. Doesn't necessarily mean there'll be a tropical storm down there, but uh, the water is warm. And uh, speaking of that, quickly, there's a look at the tropics now, and nothing's out there. It's awfully quiet, and tropical storm formation is not expected for the rest of this week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.